Hey buddy, some nuts guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far and welcome back for Rand 2. And we are going to be speedrunning the first few days here because this mod pack gets more difficult as days progress. So we want to get as much progress as quickly as we can. And we're going to need, need some luck to help us find a couple of structures that we need, plus have some fortuitous situations occur. So if you could boost our like luck by smashing that like button, I'd very much appreciate it. All right. Let's go. Some nuts guy. Grab gaming by the nuts. All right, here we go. Here we go. Speed running, fast boy. Off we go. Oh, we got some archwood logs here to start. That's interesting. Q. Now, apparently, we can vein mine with a stick. You're supposed to only be able to do it with tools. Apparently, it works with a stick. So let's see. Yes, it does. Nice. Very nice. Cheeky. Cheeky. And that will up our gathering and woodcutting quite quickly. And we want to get our gathering up kind of as fast as possible. We want to be able to use iron tools sooner rather than later. So that's going to be a core focus for uh, for a little bit here. All right, we got a wood pickaxe. And we've got plenty of wood. So I'm going to leave that behind. It's fine. Oh, here's stone. Nice. It's a shame you can't invade mine stone. I know you can change the config, but I uh, I don't I'd want to do that. All right, stone pickaxe, moving up in the world. All right, nice. You got a decent bit of stone there. We're not going to bother making a paxel until a little bit later with iron, I guess. Probably will be the first paxel we make. It's just not really needed until then. Got some coal. Nice. Grab some coal. The iron here would be pretty cool. No, fine. Now that kind of looks like a fairly dense biome. I don't know if we want to go into that biome just yet. Let's stay in the sort of open plainsy type areas for now. See what we can find. Ooh, purple tree. Oh, there's a building over there. Maybe a village. Oh, another building. I wonder what we will find. Oh yeah, and we want to choose a specialization. Okay, so we're going to have to remember what quests to do at the beginning. Uh, bandage. The piggy thing. New piglins? Oh no, that's a different thing. <laughs> uh, where was it? Specialization. Yes. Get that XP later. We're going to take Pit Fighter because this, I think, gives us the best combat, endurance, agility... The best spread of those things, uh, which I think is 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 really good. I'm tempted to do a wizard playthrough at some point and just go all in on magic, but I think Pit Fighter gives us a really nice spread of of useful things. So we're gonna we're gonna take that. All right, looks like we got a village over here. Nice. Who's that red health? Oh, it's a warrior. Might as well make a hoe, huh? Might as well make a hoe. Because farming a decent amount of wheat at the beginning is quite nice, just for all the bread. Food purposes. Cows for leather. Now, this is actually good because <laughs> leather is going to enable us to get our... Sorry, horsey. I'm going to enable us to get... <laughs> it was the only one that gave us leather. Oh, no, one of the cows did as well. Uh, backpack. We want a backpack sooner rather than later. ASAP backpack. You know what I'm saying? Alright, we got a waystone. Nice, dude. Huh. Piles of copper, silver, and gold. Interesting. Hmm. Enough to get an ingot? Oh, enough to get two ingots. Very nice. Now, copper can actually be super handy early game. Because copper armor gives us a bonus to our health, which is quite pog. Oh, it's this little house. It looks cute. A little Stonehenge type vibe. Oh, nice. We got another waystone. Oh, yeah, this is the, uh, the, the, the blacksmith. Vampiric glove causes the wearer's melee attacks to absorb health. Well, that is quite nice to get. Wow. That is literally so handy. Ha! And it goes in the hand slot. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. That's funny. You are... Oh, yeah, of course. I need a higher skill to use that. 
That is that is fine. That is that is just fine. Iron helmet, which we also can't use. And gold stuff, which I assume we also can't use. And other stuff, which I assume we can't use. And honestly, this is a decent place to set up a first first base, to be honest. There's villagers here. Waystones. Not a not a bad little first spot. Not that I really am in the mood for or not in the zone for base setting up just yet. But I do also have a full inventory already. And setting a spawn wouldn't be a bad idea. Is there a structure here that I want to yoink? Can I yoink or doodle one of these one of these structures? I suppose I could just take the blacksmith. Most of these structures are quite small. All right, our first night, uh, we're not going to bother sleeping. We're either just going to fight stuff or, uh, or, or build or figure out what we're doing base-wise. But yeah, no sleeping because that'll progress the days faster and that'll progress the difficulty of the pack faster. I think I can make a backpack now. Oh, I might need another iron, actually. No iron. I need string. Don't have string. Ooh, a Wilden, nice. Oh, two Wilden. Nice. Did either of you drop a wing? No? Okay. Oh, another Wilden. There's a lot of Wilden here. Our first champion. Hello, sir. Oh, nice. Dropped a coin. Perg. Perg? I'm going to say perfect and pog at the same time. Came out to perg. That is super duper perg. <laughs> Bruh. Oh. Alright, well, we don't need to worry about a base for now. We'll just set our spawn here. Oh, no. Stop. Did that set our spawn? I think that set our spawn. Cool. Set our spawn here, and then we'll mosey on out of here. I think a library is a decent size for us to yoink or doodle. Would be would be a good idea if we can find a library. Oh, you good, bro? You not climb up that block, homie? Poor guy. Nice. Oh. Are you stuck as well? It's good. We're farming up our combat level. It's fine. Okay. Nice. Now, if I were to build a base, I'd really want to find Jacaranda logs. Because they are purple. And super duper cool. Yo, what the heck is that? That looks cool. Whoa, that's a lot of roses. Bruh. What's this little structure? Oh, it's got a chest. Deal with this guy first. Alright, why do I feel like this chest is going to be trapped? Any TNT underneath it? Purified snakeskin. What, why do I... Healing rod, okay? I don't know what I use that for. I mean, I guess healing would make sense. Uh, I think that's the Everbright Dimension House guy. I'll check that out a little later. Oh, a goddess statue. Nice. That's actually great. Stamina. What do I need stamina for? Like, what do you... Does it increase the amount of times you can dodge? Does it... Because uh, Dawncraft has an actual stamina bar. This... this does not. This is a weird structure. Oh, okay. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to do this, because I'm, apparently I'm a silly billy and can't climb a ladder properly. Bruh. Even up here. We're about to find out. Oh, a waystone. 
That's not what I was expecting. Why is there a waystone up here? Emeralds, iron, feathers, paraglider. Oh, there's a paraglider up here. Cool. That was semi worth it, I guess. All right, where to from here? TNT over there. These big redwoods, I bet these are good for uh, farming the, the, the... Oh, wait, stamina for the glider. Okay, well, that... Is stamina specifically for the glider? Because I can't think of anything else that it's used for. Now, to avoid going through a bunch of tools, let's vein mine this with the stick. Is this going to vein mine the whole tree? No. Vein mine only a small chunk of it. Oh, hello. There's a dryad there. Now, this is a pretty decent way to get your gathering skill up pretty fast. And pretty much get enough wood that you will not need any more wood for the rest of the playthrough. Hey, look, it's Rudolph. The red-nosed reindeer. Huh. Might want a couple of mushrooms later for... I can't remember. There's a mushroom stew that's used for something. I can't remember what I used it for, though. Ah, yes, the mycelial generator in Ars Nouveau. Now, I suppose I could make a base in any big old open flat area. And, you know, I'm kind of tempted to make just like an open air base. No internals. Who's this guy? Hello, I might. Finally, some sheep. Been all over the shop. Shop, but no sheep. <laughs> Alright, uh, I can't turn brown wool into string, really? Oh, wait, I can't turn wool into string, full stop. It's not RL craft. Blah, 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 blah. God, I make that mistake all the time. Every time, every time I play a new mod pack, I'm like, Oh, yes, wool, let's get string. No. No string from wool. Sag. And copper here, nice. Oh, we got a trippy looking village here. Very trippy looking village. Huh. Pog, we hit 50 total levels. We are 40, well, like 30 minutes in. What the heck happened to this village? Those hoppers? Huh. Yo, what is that? Cool looking structure. A bunch of cakes, okay. Don't have the storage space for that, unfortunately. And a ladder that goes... Oh, it's for the bunk bed. Oh, right, let's go check this structure out. Hopefully there's nothing too dangerous there. Where's my... Where's my jacaranda logs, huh? Quest completed. Lost for words. Find an abandoned temple, okay. Why is this guy spawning... Invisible with enchanted armor. Thought that kind of stuff was supposed to happen later on. When it got more difficult. Maybe it's to do with the structure? How do I get in? Hello? Oh, yeah, I think it's to do with the structure. This might be a bad idea, to be honest. Now, this might be a very bad idea. We built high up to the top. Let's see what's in here, shall we? Oh, hey, a guy. Oh. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay. Well, we set our spawn point at least. And our first death. How did I know that climbing up really high was going to be a bad idea? Now, death is not good. Death, you lose stats, and you also lose knowledge of death. Weirdly, you lose knowledge of death when you die. That doesn't make sense, but it, it's, it's what happens. Okay, what's the best idea here? Go back up. It's probably a terrible idea. Oh! My god, he instantly showed me <clears throat> that that was a bad idea. Balls, dude. 
Okay, maybe the whole staying awake isn't working out for me. I'm out, Mautski. Because nighttime is obviously considerably more dangerous. We'll go back to that structure another time. What does the log look like on these logs? Oh, these are just spruce logs, Sag. I was hoping for a nice, colorful plank to build with. Although I still would rather find a structure that I'm happy to take over instead of having to build. Save us time. And probably look nicer. Than the purple cube we are planning on building. <laughs> hey, finally our first spider. And no string. Champion zombie. Out of my... Couple of prismarine in that chest could be useful. An anvil. We'll probably yoink that. Spider. I hear you, spider. Where you at? That's not the one I heard. I need your string, Della String. Oh crap, there's a lot of things under there. Including a wraith, which actually could be dangerous to me right now. Oh, no. My agility leveling up kind of scared me. And the spider came out. Nice. Any string? String to the string? No? Screw you, Mr. Spider. Ah, it's another one of these houses. Okay. Need endurance level 18 to wear. Copper anyway. My endurance is level 5. We're just a little ways off that. Ooh, an ender pearl. Nice. Okay, cool. Oh my god, there's a chest up there that I didn't find in the other one. Hello? Oh, it's just more manuscripts. Bruh. You know, taking over a house in or near a village is probably a better idea, because then at least I've got some villagers close by, you know? Did I get a waystone from this village? I don't think I did. Oh, there's Vex here. I don't want to deal with no Vex right now. Who are you? Oh my god, she pulled out a knife, dude. Flint knife and some flint. Okay. Oh, that's weird. You have a flint heart. Strange. Okay. Ah, here's a waystone. This village is quite sprawling. It's a bit of a sprawling village. Witch hazel, huh? Well, that could make an interesting plank for a base. No, I still want to get my jacaranda logs. Maybe for the roof, though? Roof and some trim. Green, green hazel, roofy trim. Oh, pixie dust. Some ambrosia with that. Don't steal my stuff, pixies. Screw you. Wow, that's quite a ravine. Kind of tempted to go mining, but... We'll do that another time, when we got more of a base going on, methinks. Pumpkin forest? Oh, it's a hole. Huh, you know, it's funny, I thought the library structure was, like, super common, because I found, like, two or three in my first... What the hell? It hurt me. My first ever world. Uh, very quickly. I think it's a little bit less common than I thought it was. It's fine. All this hopping around and going is getting our agility up. Agility is good to get up. Cobwebs. We can get string. All right, all right. There's two string. We need four, though, right? Is there any more cobwebs stuck to random trees here? Would be nice. Why was there just two random cobwebs? Ah, hello. Check it, we got a backpack, baby! Aw, oh, yeah! Oh, we can put it there. But instead, we're gonna put it there. And then we can put all of these items in here. Oh, so much more storage space. So much nicer. Alright, let's, let's be on our way. 
This is interesting. There's three out of the four Arkwood logs here. Might as well grab these because we will need uh, one of each of these at some point or another. I already got the purple ones. Might as well grab a few more. Aw, there's no chest here. Oh, there is. Nice. Ooh. Intangible AoE pierce extend time. Touch intangible. Cast a spell. What does this spell do? Three obsidian. It's actually kind of handy. Would have been better if it was four, though. Huh. We got a little structure there. And we got a little structure over here as well. Let's, uh, let's go see what these are saying. Well, it sounds like we got villagers somewhere. Opening and closing doors randomly. Hello. Oh. Oh, you're not a village. You're Alex Peterson. Three cookies, four sweet berries. So that's a, a person that could join us on our adventures. But honestly, I don't usually bother with them because you gotta like equip them with gear and keep them fed and shit. Kind of high maintenance. Oh, fire boy. Where was that structure I saw? I had some glass. Over here? Yes. What is this structure? It's got dryads. A witch urn. Had nether wart in it. Huh. Huh, okay. A bunch of random plants. Doesn't seem like it's anything particularly good. I mean... It's dryads, obviously. It's a bunch of random plants. These books can be useful, though. We can sell these for emeralds and experience later. Oh, we got a chorus fruit. Is there any reason to keep that? Ah, that was a bit of a pointless house. Okay. Oh, hey, guy. Oh, hey, Wraith. Those things can be... To do a decent amount of damage. It's a champion as well. Okay, this one's a little slow though, so it's fine. Sometimes they seem really fast. Knowledge of death has been increased. Hog. Oh my god, I was in my menu and I nearly got creeped on. Oh. Didn't, almost didn't see the, uh, the Naga there. Oh, and she's got poison. It's fair enough, I guess. She's a snack. Come on then, cow people. Get wrecked, my dudes. F you. Alright, we've got another sprawling village. However, it has a nice big structure next to it. We make this our home. You're not dead? Oh my god. Ah, this is the library. This is the library that I was looking for. Okay. It's in a fairly suboptimal position. <laughs> kind of would have been hoping for one that has more of like... Big planes. Big flat planes next to it. Um, I, mean, I suppose if we cut down these trees, we kind of have that over here. This will do. This will do. I need a singular diamond to make an inventory connector. So I'm wondering, do any of the quests that I've completed offer a diamond as a reward? Let's just collect all our rewards. Doesn't seem like there are any diamonds in that list. Just fair enough, to be honest. Uh, we got a couple of loot crates. Any diamonds in here? What did we get? I don't even know what we got. Leather. Birch planks. A lockbox with a diamond. No, gunpowder. <laughs> Alright, we can wear this golden chest plate and helmet. Gluttony. What does gluttony do, I wonder? 
Consume food faster with a reduced nutritional value. Okay. Should probably clear out the witches above us. Probably a good idea. I have 41 levels now. Wow. Okay. I probably shouldn't have accepted all those quests at the same time. Wow. I ate much faster. Jesus. <laughs> the handy enchant, I guess, actually. And we got a potentially... Nope. Not a cave entrance. Oh. Oh. Yes. Cave entrance. All right. Well, there's a lot of ore here. That's a good start to our caving mission. Falling directly down a hole. Probably should have brought some torches for your guys' benefit, huh? Oh, wait. Alright, so we got iron, we got copper. This is good. Coal. We got all the basic stuff. Hello? I think my leveling up firework just hurt me. Bruh. Oh, there's another hole. Now the question is, because of the cost of the durability, I wonder if it would just be better to use wood tools for the vein mining. Uh, nope. Because you need a higher mining level. That makes sense. Hey, source gems. Nice. Or one source gem. Oh, that hurt. What the fuck? Hey, more source gems. Nice. So we're going to need a decent chunk of them to get started. Well, we can find some gold. No, can't mine gold yet. But we can make a... I don't even remember what it's called, but it makes source gems automatically. And it's super handy. We just need to get our endurance up to 18, and then we can get a decent chunk stronger with the copper, copper armor. Seeing as copper is fairly abundant, copper armor gives you plus health for some reason. And you can also reforge copper armor quite easily with the smithing table. To give you more, more health. Oh, honestly, that little hiss just scared the crap out of me. You know, there's a hiss like that in RL craft that's just an ambiance sound, and I thought it was just ambiance. Uh, and I realized, wait a minute, this isn't RL craft. <laughs> All right, now I suppose we'll be getting enough iron that we can probably move on to iron tools. Uh, the durability will obviously still go down very quickly. However, we get a lot of iron, so it probably won't matter that much. Probably. All right, our endurance is 9.33. We need to, in a controlled environment, increase our, our um, endurance level in a way that is safe, yet effective. And a creeper is not, not that. Now, to be honest, champion probably isn't the best idea either. A skelly might work. Three skellies, not so much. I still did a decent amount of damage. And it made me bleed. Although bleed is increasing the durability, the endurance level as well. Probably use a campfire if I'm going to do something like this. Because the campfires give you regen one. So we do a little something. Like... Where'd our skelly buddy go? He's gone. Okay, never mind. Oh yes, clay. We'll need clay as well. Alright, bro. Oh, we got multiple assailants here. Get rid of one of them.
Honestly, this is a little too slow. We'll, our, our, our endurance will get up naturally anyway. Ooh, I hear an enderman. Getting ender pearls would be a good idea. I think we lost an enderman. I got distracted by pieces of candy. It's like, oh, a piece of candy. Oh, a piece of candy. And then the enderman is gone. Sag. Oh, here another one. That way, though. How do I get that way? Aha! Here you are, sir. Let's just, uh, make a little safe area for ourselves. Especially because he's a champion as well. And... Look at me, bitch. I'm looking at you. Mother trucker. Oh. God, oh, that scared me. Damn it. It keeps scaring me. This weapon's about to break. Rip. All right, we got a pearl out of that though. Nice, dude. Let me make myself. Oh, uh, do I have any string? I do have string. All right, what we can do then? We need combat 25 to use iron weapons. What is our combat? 20. Wait, no, that was gathering. 19. So we'll have to make a stone spear. All right, we got a stone spear. Nice. Now we could potentially go saber. Saber might actually be a decent option here. I do like the reach uh, that you get from the saber. Ah, uh, from the spear. Same as our all craft, but saber saber could be a decent choice. Oh god, creepers penned us in. Hey, this is where the reach comes in handy. Nice. Hmm. Twenty seconds of bleed? That's a long bleed. Jesus. How many source gems do we have? We have forty-eight source gems. It's actually a lot. We will what we're gonna do is we're gonna need to wrap up here pretty soon. Uh however, I have a feeling that let's check our quests quickly. Um Meet your fights. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not quite close enough with any of those. But a little bit more fighting, and we will be able to get uh, some skill experience through meet your... Huh. Structure? Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. We'll be able to get some skill experience through the meet your fight quests, which we can use on getting magic. Get magic up to level 5. Then we can start Ars Nouveau, and getting that started as soon as possible would be uh, would definitely be ideal. Alright, so it looks like we got some kind of structure here. Let's, uh... Check this out quickly. Hello? Any... anybody home? Oh! It's a Ferris Rotnot. Interesting. Well, I definitely can't fight him, but it's good to know where one is. Alright, well, we, uh, we have marked that for later. Noise. Oh, hey, guy. Oh, fiery bat wing. Is that what does that do? Nothing. Nothing, apparently. Okay. Well, this cave just keeps on going and going and going and going, and we have an absolute buttload of stuff and things. Our inventory's pretty much run out here. We've filled our backpack, too. we got a lot of stuff. Much iron, good amount of copper, much coal. Uh, very, very nice first mining trip. What's our gathering? Got our gathering up to 21.94. That's pretty damn high, to be honest. Um... 
fact, to use the break spell, I think we only need... We need 30 gathering and 20 magic to use the break spell. So we are a good chunk of the way there for the gathering, at least. All right, now what's the best way to get out of here? Well, not this way. So it seems to be just more down. Wow, massive caves. Jesus. It could be a straight up type vibe, to be honest. You can use the wall jump to help us get up. Hey, yeah, quite a useful feature. Wall jump, wall, wall jump, wall jump, wall jump. Nice, and we made it. Ah, where are we? Yeah, this guy's got a pike. Bruh, I think he doesn't know how long the reach is on the pike. Hehe. <laughs> Alright, we got a buttload of stuff. We're back home now. Time to set up our furnaces and just smelt the crap out of all this crap. Smelt the crap out of all the crap. Yeah. How eloquent I am with the words. <laughs> Alright, we should probably deal with the upst upstairs, which is... I was considering leaving their spawners up here. Um, because we could farm witches at some point. Potentially. Um, doesn't seem like a great idea, though. No. Unless I just turn off the villager, the enemy noises. And I can just leave them up there and go farm them if I want to at some point. I drop redstone and other stuff. And I can occasionally just get myself poisoned and it increases my durability. My endurance, even. Why am I... What is this? What is this magic? I've been turned into a pig! The fuck? I... I am... I... I'm a pig. To be honest, we gotta wrap up. And this... This seems like an amazing way to do the outro. Um... So yeah, we're a pig. And, uh, yeah. What a, uh, what a successful first episode. Let's do a quick stat recount. We've got 22 combat, 22 gathering, 18 agility, 17 wood cutting, 16 mining, 13 endurance, and some other stuff as well. We're two hours in, just under, actually about an hour and 45 minutes or so in, and um, making good progress. We have enough stuff, I think, to soon get working on ours. We just got to kill some more mobs to be able to do the meet, the meet your fight, fight your meat. Meet your fight, fight meeting. Uh, meet your fight, yeah. <laughs> um, and then we can get the skill experience for the magic, up our magic a little bit more, and start work on ours, which is going to help us to travel more, do more damage, break blocks, and just do all kinds of wonderful things. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. If you have any tips, tricks, comments, or you just want to have a chat, it's always good to see in, in the comments. And I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care. Thank you.